Hey guys, it's Thunder here, and welcome to the HG Central Year 2 Recap. Yep, believe it or not, I have now been going for just about two years on the site, and still going. I haven't been defeated yet. Although, to be fair, this year was a bit of a roller coaster ride, to say the least. I had many days where I was just off and didn't really do much of anything, and... I apologize that I haven't really been having some videos out in the last little while. I've just been in this kind of weird zone with uh, trying to get stuff out, but I'm going to be trying to hopefully uh, amend that for 2017 because I, of course, still want to get videos out for you guys so you guys, you know, still have something new to watch and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a couple plans I've already got in mind for 2017 for the uh, video series that I'd be doing. Uh, the first thing is the for the Top Gear Laps. I decided it's not really worth continuing that right now. Simply just because it, it was just too similar to uh, what my friend uh, Emil was doing on his uh, channel uh, for the uh, his Forza Top Gear laps, where he would do it in Forza 6 and whatnot. And now, of course, he does the Reach the Peak series, which focuses, of course, on the Blizzard Mountain for Forza Horizon 3. Uh, but if you really want to see something with cars and stuff and time stuff, I really recommend watching his videos because he does a very excellent job on it. So definitely. Uh, take a look at that if you can. Another thing I will probably... I won't be getting rid of it this uh, like I will with the Top Gear laps, but what probably will be kind of held back a bit, the kind of on a more uh, occasional occurrence will be the HG challenges. Mostly because I just don't really get enough of them. Every now and then, you know, I will if I get something, I'll probably put it out and... I'll probably get through the current list I have here, and then it'll probably be, you know, a bit more occasional from there on out. But we'll see exactly, maybe, who knows, maybe it might start taking off, and maybe I might have to make changes to that. But of course, the three things that I'm going to be uh, definitely keeping around will be the LPs, because that's pretty expected, to be fair. Uh, the Rivals series, which I haven't done a, a one in a while, I need to kind of get back into that, especially because I got so many episodes of that still planned to uh, to make, because that's the one that really took off for people. And the, of course, the Mod Showcase series, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. The reason, simply because it is one of the more popular things I upload on a common basis. It's the one that attracts more people to watch, and, you know, I'm, I have no reason to take any of that away. So, because you guys tend to really be uh, enjoying that quite a lot, so I will definitely be keeping that around, and uh, there will be more games that I'll, I'll be doing over time. I do need to keep working on Need for Speed High Stakes. I haven't done one of those for that game in a while. Um, of course, Most Wanted will still be uh, working on. Um, I also do plan to maybe add a third Need for Speed game to the Mod Showcase series. It'll probably be Hot Pursuit 2 or something, since that, one has, that game does have quite a few mods. It probably won't be as common though as most wanted because you know not uh, it doesn't get as many new mods as often and I'll probably also maybe do a fourth one maybe even with Underground 2 being the other game in mind but I, d I just don't want to put too much on the plate for me when it comes to it because then I have so much that I have to work on and, and it just becomes a bit of a mess and it's probably been why I've kind of had this weird dry spell of really getting stuff out uh, as for the current ongoing uh, LPs, uh, Midtown Madness 3 is not uh, not abandoned. I will be finishing that up. Uh, whether I do that with people or whether I just do it on my own is, I'll have, is yet to find out, but that game will be finished up and uh, uh, should have that done. And then, of course, Test Drive 6 is also not not abandoned either. I will be, Since I'm mostly almost finished with Test Drive 6 now, I might as well finish that up, of course. So that is the plan. <laughs> And then as we go into 2017, uh, I already have the first new LP for 2017 planned. Uh, that it's not going to be a regular LP, it's rather going to be a stream. Simply because it's a pretty long game. I mean, it was... I did... It, I The last time I did one of these games uh, on the channel, I actually did kind of stream it and still did it in like the LP format. Uh, don't know if I'll do that this time around, simply because... Uh, Trying to just kind of streaming it and showing it all a bunch kind of works a little better, and I kind of just prefer the more natural, like kind of calm, just relaxing environment. I know it makes doesn't make it seem as professional, obviously, but 
you know, it, it is do, streaming is a lot of fun. So I will still be doing those in 2017. I'll probably actually be doing it a little bit more. In fact, I might make it uh, 2017 where I just you know stream more often. And there's going to be a couple reasons for that. One, of course, is the game I mentioned, which, for those of you wondering, the first game that I will be LPing slash streaming for 2017 is going to be Gran Turismo 3, a spec. Yep, we're going to start heading into the PlayStation 2 Gran Turismo games now, which is where this game, uh, the series really starts getting interesting. So, GT3 will be what I stream first on... 2017, and I'll, I'll might maybe during the time I'm doing working on that, I might still have streams of just other stuff going on at the same time. You know, just I might do more streams of mod showcases or maybe streams of rivals episodes, just to kind of. I really do want to get a more stream-oriented focus, but I will still have, of course, the regular formatted LPs and the mod showcases and the rivals episodes. Those will st you'll still see those the way it is. Uh, but Gran Turismo 3 is not the only game with a 3 at the end that I'm planning for 2017. I'm also planning Burnout 3 Takedown. Probably one of the games I'm looking most forward to doing. It's just such a good game. I, I, I really enjoy playing the crap out of this game. So that'll definitely be happening for 2017. Also to be happening for 2017 will be Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. I did Tokyo Extreme Racer 0 earlier this year. And so for for the new year, I might as well at some point do the third Tokyo Stream Racer, the biggest and the best, honestly. So that will be pretty exciting to do. And maybe to just to add another three to that name, I might also do Colin McRae Rally 3. Just, just because, you know, so many threes. You know, that's the plan for this year. Uh, I know some other games I still have to do, such as Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. I will be doing that one this year as well I will make sure it'll probably just be like a regular LP format I did want to do it with people but honestly just because of the the issues with trying to record it and getting people and all that kind of stuff it's like it, it just makes it difficult but we'll see we'll see where it goes um, but I guess another reason I should mention why I'm, I'm interested in streaming more is because I'm getting better hardware I recently actually just in fact got me a a brand new graphics card. It is a Gigabyte WinForce OC GTX 1066 Gigabyte. So it's pretty impressive. It's it's a card that's perfectly suited for 1080p gaming at like all high settings. It's a really really nice card. It's essentially if almost like what the uh, 980 was from uh, the year before. Yeah, that's just the start of the new hardware. I'm gonna get some better RAM over time, better CPU. All that sort of stuff, and you know, just to have better hardware, you know, it, it really helps. So it's, you know, it's a good start to where we're going to be heading for the next year. So it's definitely something to be looking uh, forward to for this. Now, of course, of course, as mo if you've seen my year one recap, you'll probably know that I was pretty excited when in the first year alone, I had made about just over 300 subscribers, which I was very thankful for that because I only ever expected to reach roughly about 100. This year, though, oh man, what a turn of events. I'm currently now sitting at over 1,200 subscribers, so an increase of around 900 subscribers in one year. So three times the amount of subscribers I had in the first year I now have after two years. And that's really, and I'm honestly, again, I'm really thankful for everyone who subscribes to my account. I really appreciate that you guys enjoy my work, and I enjoy making these videos out for you guys, and of course, I'm still going to be kicking strong and hopefully get more of these out so definitely stay tuned for that uh, in terms of some other games uh, this year I won't really plan to do try to mention too many games I mean I've already mentioned uh, the, like the games with the threes at the end and I already know I already know ahead of time that it, it I, I will be doing those GT3 I've been planning for a few weeks now so once I finish up Midtown Madness 3 and uh, Test Drive 6 uh, GT3 will be the next thing I work on and that'll of course be for streaming because you know long game might as well just do it in good like lengths of video just just do it in the good lengths of streams it's just more just more fun to do it that way um but yeah it should it should be pretty interesting to see where we go for next year uh, other games I have in mind I don't really have that many other ones I planned on doing um I still need to f I'm, I did want to do motor storm but I don't 
recall if I... I don't think I have a copy of the original game yet. I'm, I'm going to probably have to find that around. I do want to play MotorStorm, though, because I know I have Pacific Rift. I know I have uh, Arctic Edge. I know I have Apocalypse. I just don't have the original one, so I'm going to have to probably get that one again. So that one is one that I want to do, but I do want to start it. Uh, with the original game, that, so, that, so I can't do that one right now. Uh, one that I'm actually interested in doing is a game called Full Auto. is a uh, Xbox 360 game, and it's it's like a uh, this really intense like car like combat racing game. It's a really destructive game. A lot of destructive environments, weapons like boost. It is it's pretty insane. It's a really good game. I'm re really interested in uh, playing it for the channel just because I. It's, it, sh it would be pretty interesting to show it off. Full Auto will probably be a regular LP. I don't really think I'm going to be streaming that one. But who knows? We'll see where we go with that. In terms of uh, games I've done before, uh, I still want to redo Grand Theft Auto 3 because I could have done that one a little bit better, to be honest. Uh, what I, and what, what I mean is without cheating, obviously. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where we go, though. I do want to get the streaming thing going more often. I do want to get some more mod showcase games. Hell, I might even do a mod showcase of a not Need for Speed game. One of them I've been considering is for uh, Test Drive Unlimited. Uh, mostly because one of the uh, one of the biggest sites for finding car mods, uh, Turbo Duck, the forums that host like tons of Test Drive Unlimited car mods for not just Test Drive Unlimited One, but Test Drive Unlimited Two as well. Um, they gave me a follow on my uh, Twitter page, so I guess as a way to kind of show my support for that, I might as well do one uh, Test Drive Unlimited Mod Showcase series. Uh, would I do one for Grand Theft Auto? Probably. I'd have to see how well like GTA 5 will run on the new hardware. It'll probably run pretty good, I imagine, but who knows? Um, if I can think of something I can do with G GTA 5 for showing off mods, I might consider it, but I, I, I wouldn't say it's all set in stone yet. Especially since that game requires a little more effort to get car mods in as compared to like Need for Speed where it's pretty easy. But we'll see. We don't know yet for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'd say definitely stay tuned. Um, of course, if you're wondering about some of the other guys on the channel, I'm, I'm always interested in adding more people to the channel and them being able to, uh, you know, add their own videos and whatnot. Because I, I always like to have you know, that kind of additional content from other people who want to sh share their videos. I'm always huge on offering that, and you know, if I'm willing to uh, give people the chance to upload their own videos, it's just the thing. And if you do want to do that, you just have to get in contact. Just keep in mind, I have to at least have known you for a bit. And also, pretty important that I can kind of trust you with doing this. Because I don't want my account suddenly being changed up or anything like that. Because if that were to happen, I would instantly revoke it from you. But, you know, just, just, but, you know, if, if, I've, if I've known you for a while and, you know, you, you tend to watch the videos and you want to make your own contact, just get in touch and I'll see what I can do. Because the thing is, too, I always am interested in not just having car games. I mean, I'm a huge car guy at heart, which is why I do so many car games, but... If you want to put up something on the channel that's not car related at all, go right ahead. Definitely a different approach to this this year. Uh, and if I guess if you're wondering, um, I, this year I don't, uh, heading into 2017, I actually don't have plans to change the logo around. Mostly because I don't feel like it's necessary this time around. I think the, this logo that I've been using was a lot nicer than the one I was using in 2015 and it's just got like a nice clean style to it and that people are, are starting to recognize a bit so for 2017 you're probably going to be seeing this style again mostly because it you know it just works as good like background material anyway so we'll see exactly if it does change or not uh, for 2018 but for this upcoming year I don't think I'm gonna be changing that up I do have one other thing I do and I'm gonna mention this I want to announce this uh, I really want to do a new series I want to do something with uh, sh showing off some of the best clips throughout like a weekly occurrence, like like your submissions to the best clips that you've had in games, whether it's wins or fails or just something so amazing you had to share it, or just I just kind of want to get something like that going where you can kind of like put like a montage of clips and just show it off and you know because I've always been interested in doing something like that and I've gotten a few clips for a, a first episode but you know it's not it, it's currently not enough so far uh, if you want to submit clips actually in fact you can join my forum boards 
uh, that I made earlier in the year, and there's a section in there where you can submit clips for it, as well as stuff like the challenges or the rivals and all that kind of stuff. And if you want to just submit stuff in there, I'd say join, definitely join the forums and put something in there because it would definitely help to be able to do that. So, and I guess with that, that's really all there is to say. Apart from that, though, I'd say 2017 should be interesting to see where we go with the channel. So definitely stay tuned, and of course, as always, thank you guys so much for having watched all my content and really giving all the support that you've been doing because it really helps uh, me out. I enjoy doing this, and I hope you guys enjoy all the stuff that I've been doing too. With that, thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, as always, if you want to join me on my forum boards, as I've already mentioned, that's in the link down below. You can also follow me on Twitter if you use that, and of course follow me on Twitch, which is where I stream. Or you can donate to my patient if you want to help support the channel. And so, of course, as always guys, like I always say at the end, thank you so much for watching, have a happy new year, and take care.